in this world premiere episode of Pride Talk, David and I shared our vision for the podcast, and David also shared the origin of Net Pride and how the podcast Pride Talk came about. Welcome, first of all, welcome to the very first episode. And before I start playing the conversation that I had with my co-host David, I thought I would explain what Net Pride is. Now, Net Pride is a national program by the National Association of Asian American Professionals. Sometimes we call, just call it NAP with a triple A,、um, and it's a program that is specifically for Asian American LGBTQ plus community. And one of the things that we're doing right now is to have a podcast called Pride Talk, so that we can feature conversations,、um, particularly of Asian American、uh, LGBTQ plus community and our allies. And it is very crucial because we believe in representation and we believe in having role models. Because when I grew up, I didn't have that role model to look up to. As a gay Asian, so speaking about myself, I should probably introduce myself to you a little bit. My name is John Ong. I was born in Malaysia. My family's,、uh, my grandparents immigrated from China to Malaysia, and、um, I didn't come to the United States until I was in my twenties, early twenties, and I came here for college. And now I work for a company called Hallmark Cards. It's a greeting cards company, and it's based in Kansas City. And I'm also the director of communications and public relations for NAP Kansas City. So that's briefly about me. I also have several other podcasts that I do,、uh, but this is a new, very new one that、um, I got involved in fairly recently. So. That's a little bit about myself, and hopefully, in the future episodes,、um, David would probably sit down and talk to me about、uh, interview me. Maybe that might happen. But enough about myself. Let's、uh, bring David in to talk about Net Pride and talk about Pride Talk. Here's our conversation. Welcome to the studio. Well, thank you. I know you've been wanting to get me in the studio for a, quite a while. I know I have a tiara in the background, so any props you want. I see.、Uh, all sorts of fun stuff. This is like my memorabilia wall, and there's like a poster of you, <laughs> <laughs> like a big poster of you. Oh my gosh! In fact, the one in one of our recent meetings, I had it down here in the studio.、Uh, I have a. A, a home studio it, downstairs in our basement, and there's a big poster of my face on the wall. Which I every time, if I have somebody new seeing the the camera, the view into the room, I have to explain. I went for a singing competition, and the singing competition made、uh, the finalists have posters, huge posters made as the stage decorations. And at the end of the competition, everybody gets to keep the poster. That's why I have the poster. It looks really weird. Anyway, yes, because you're pointing at us. I know it's and you. you I want to talk to. Big old smile. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so、um, okay, so I want to talk about this podcast because, and I'm naturally, you know, like a busybody. I, I, yeah, I you're nosy. To, I'm nosy. Yeah, I want to ask questions. So I'm curious. So I'm hope I'm hoping that the the questions that I want to ask would also be questions that people would want to know. So, but before we get into talking to you about about David, let's talk about the podcast too. So maybe we should talk a little bit about how Net, Net Pride, Pride got、about. started yeah, because yeah. that that kind of came first.、Mm -hmm. And、um, well, I was at the、um, Nap National Leadership Academy, which was in San Jose、mm -hmm. last.、Uh, March, March,、okay. yeah, this year, twenty eighteen.、Um, I have been to several of their、um, big conventions, but this was the first time going to、um, their leadership academy. And while I was there,、um, I ran into Terry、um, from Nap Cincinnati.、Mm -hmm. um, I'm part of Nap Kansas City, and I was representing Nap Kansas City, but also representing、uh, Hallmark. And、um, I ran into 
Terry and I believe, from what I can remember, um, it was after uh, Michael Gonzalez, who was at the time our Director of Diversity and Inclusion Mm -hmm. at uh, Hallmark, um, gave a presentation on the work that Hallmark had done um, with some of our product in the Castro, in a Walgreens store. Right. And um, I, from what I can remember, I think Terry was kind of inspired by that, and he came up to talk to um, myself and Michael mm-hmm. about this idea that he had for Nap Pride. It's like, why does Nap not have something for uh-huh. the LGBT Asian community? Yeah, yeah. You know, we have uh, women in Nap, and then there's also a program called Successful Parents in Nap, mm-hmm. and we were kind of like, well what about for the LGBT community? Mm -hmm. So we started throwing that idea around. And then um, Michael and I both were excited about that idea. Yeah. Um, And then we encouraged him to talk to Cindy, Uh uh, you Robinson. Yeah. uh, From Nap National. And uh, he got into a conversation with her. And then Cindy came and talked to me. We're like, this is such a great idea, Mm. you know? And I was very impressed with how much support we were getting from the national leaders Mm -hmm. that were there that like they were really behind this idea. So they challenged us to come up with a proposal. Right. Like, you know, we think this could be a good national program. Yeah. So you guys need to get together and come up with a proposal and present it to us. Mm -hmm. So, um, Harris, uh, from Nat Boston was also at the leadership Academy and Terry, um, went and talked to him about it and he was excited about it. Did so, they know each other already? I don't think so. I think we all kind of met there at okay. the leadership so, academy. So Harris was there at, uh, at NLA also. Right, representing that Boston. Uh-huh. And um, so we all exchanged, you know, our contact information and stuff like yeah. that. And then after we um, re- went back to our, you know, cities, we just started emailing each other and saying, what can we do, what can we do? And then, and then automatically I thought, I have to bring you into this, Mm -hmm. you know, I said, um, John would be perfect. He's passionate about this. And then I thought about, well, and he does podcasts. Yeah. So let's talk to him about, um, creating a nap, um, pride, um, podcast. And we didn't have a name for it at the time or anything. We just wanted to have something where we could have discussion because we believe that our stories are, are important. Yeah. And we all have different stories, and yes. especially the stories of Asian American yeah. LGBT. We don't see that. It's not as common. It's not uh, even even among the. Po- and I, I'm still a podcaster. Even amongst the podcasting community, there are very few. Uh, I can't even think of right now other. I may I might not be aware of them, but if you do, let me know because we want to talk to them. Is a other Asian LGBTQ plus podcast i right i don't know if if there's a lot out there i don't think so and also just um organizations in general yeah that focus on asian american mm-hmm. um, lgbt of course there's the big you know national organizations for the lgbt community but a lot of time um the asian american ones kind of get lost in that yeah like our stories are not the ones that are featured and right. the issues that we deal with are not necessarily top of mind right right they do a lot of great work but um, sometimes we have to sit back and go, well, what about us? Right. We don't see ourselves. And and you, know, uh, we will we will definitely bring Terry and Harris back and into this chair, not literally, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to talk to them about you know what like their side of the right. story. Right. When that happens, I don't know what went on in their head right. when they heard the the presentation from uh, by Hallmark by uh, Michael. So uh, so let's jump into the podcast. First, uh, there is, and I've been doing this for a while, and what I really like is the opportunity to have a voice. Because when I first started my own podcast back in 2004, there were very few LGBT content out there to begin with. Through podcasting, I get to meet other uh, LGBTQ plus members uh, through podcasting. And, And why are we drawn to that? It's because we don't have a regular outlet for our voice. And Podcasting is simple because it's it's fairly easy. You don't need to have a lot of money to be able to put your own story out there, which is why I'm drawn to this platform. It allows us as um, uh, Nat Pride 
uh, and more specifically, uh, Asian American professional LGBTQ plus members able to have a platform for us to tell our own stories. Obviously, we don't. Uh, everybody's stories is a little different. We may have some common threads, but we also will have our own individual stories. So, I growing up as an Asian gay kid that is different from, say, a Caucasian gay child,、uh, and I also feel like it's the same way also for African American、right. as well.、Yeah. So, they we have our own culture, and our culture sometimes clash with、uh, with our our own identity as who we are growing up. So I think the podcast is gonna be a a place for people to sit down and and have a. I want it to be casual.、It、doesn't mean that it won't change. It depends on who what guest right, it is, you、right. know, who we're talking to. But I feel like it should be a very casual conversation. I want the conversation where we are having David and I、yeah. are having on the phone typically, and I want to make sure that that happens in in our future podcasts as well because. You can get a lot of like you know professionally produced stuff and highly you know edited and all that, but we the the main thing that we want to achieve here is authenticity, and I think that is the key thing to, in order for other people to resonate and to identify. They the voice has to be true. Yeah, I agree, and I think the great thing about doing something like this in this format is you can reach those people today who. Maybe living in some small town somewhere, small、yeah. town Kansas, small town Missouri, you know, Arkansas, Texas, whatever, that don't have that representation within their community. Right. I mean, we're fortunate that we work together, we see each other, we、mm-hmm. have lunch together. There are others within Hallmark that are、um, Asian American and LGBT, so we we have our community. We kind of have our tribe, and、right. that's something that I want to talk about a little bit later when we talk about like coming out and stuff. That it's、yeah. so important. To have a sense of community, yes, to help you, and I think we can be that community, maybe for people that don't have a community、right. around I, them. On on my in personal show, I always say I want to be, I want it to be out for people who cannot be out yet,、right. don't have the luxury of coming、right. out yet.、Uh, so we we can go definitely deeper into that when we go into、uh, like your own portion.、Yes. <laughs> of our episodes, I I imagine I and if we've my done, so-called life, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I've I've done some a little research just through our own community, like a re- survey, and and want to find out what length of the show and all that. So you guys can give us feedback as well as you're listening to this. Is you know as you're listening, to, I don't want to make it so solid that this is the format and this is the structure of the show because we we will evolve. If you want to let us know what you want to hear us talk about,、uh, w- w- a guest that you want us to talk to, whether it being a, a very famous like celebrity, if we can get to them,、uh, or if you, better yet, you can send us their the contact, and then、um, or if they themselves have a very interesting story, they yes, can, they yes. can recommend themselves. Exactly, I think that sometimes is more crucial.、Uh, the, You know, we we would have a, a good balance because we already have. I'm starting to think about in you know, a future guest, and and we want people in our own community that you know who is Asian,、uh, who is out,、uh, or who is a huge advocate and ally for us for the Asian LGBTQ plus community. Oh my gosh, something happened with my microphone. I heard a little snap. <laughs> anyway, and uh, uh, so I I we want to hear from you, and how can you get in touch with us? Um, you will at the end of the show. You also find out probably in the beginning of the show. Also, you're here. If you want to, just want to send us a message. There are ways of doing so.、Uh, a website. Our website is pride. dot nap. dot org. So it should be very easy to remember. Nap. No. Pride. dot nap. dot org. We're also very new in,、yeah. with this thing. Like all this information is new. Um. Are you gonna have show notes I, with the podcast? Because we can put、do. links in there. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Show notes, definitely. We, we, like, so you can find our email, you can find our website, you can find how to leave a comment,、uh, a voice comment, and so forth in the show notes. So if you are listening to this on on your iPhone or iPad or iTunes or any other Android devices on Stitcher or whatever, you can do so by getting all those information there. Um, so. That is pretty much it. Like you know, is there anything else you want to talk about regarding the podcast? Um, tell your friends. 
Yes. You know, yeah. Because we need we need friends. to get the word out. We're and new. I want to also make it clear that this podcast. If you are an LGBTQ plus individual, y- you should be listening to it. But I really think more importantly, it's for people who are、uh, either struggling to identify as、um, you know LGBTQ plus or、uh, people who may be on the fence of like I don't know about. This gay person, I don't know about this whole gay idea. I want to learn more about the community because what is typically I find throughout the years that I'm doing、uh, talk to people, the more you know about somebody who belong to that community, the less scary it becomes. Right. And when you can especially put a face to one of the alphabets <laughs> in the <laughs> alphabet soup. That changes everything. In fact, it it sometimes challenges their stance on certain、um, policy, on a certain、um, idea that they have about the community. That changes, and it it becomes a struggle for them. Which is what we try to do is to challenge your thinking because、um, before, like I don't know, maybe even ten years, twenty years ago, it's it's a whole different world. You don't have that many. Uh, voices representing us, so all you see is the images that the media choose to put out there, rather than an individual vo-、uh, collective of individual voices. Right. So, tell your friends, tell the people that you think might be going through this. I'm imagining also、um, parents, particularly Asian parents, who might. Think of their one of their children, or more than one of their children, <laughs> potentially could be gay or、uh, uh, transgender. We need to、yeah. get more transgender, even though more transgender guests, and even、that. people that just are interested in, in hearing in、um, interesting stories. Yes, you know people's life experiences.、Yeah. Um, not necessarily that it has to be an interest just in, you know,、um, gay LG, you know, LGBT、yeah. Asian, but just. Have an interest in general human stories, yeah. Because I think that's what we ultimately is part of the goal here too. Is just to tell really interesting、yeah. human stories that anybody can connect with. You know, they just happen to be stories about、um, LGBT people or allies, but within the story, that you know, everybody should be able to find something that they can connect with. Yes, and 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 we would definitely hope、uh, that. That that Asian voice is what we want to try to emphasize, but sometimes it's just human stories, actually.、Right. Uh, but there are some culturally specific stuff that eventually, at some point, if I am gonna tell my own story on this podcast, eventually, you know, maybe somebody else can interview me. Maybe you can interview yeah, me. Maybe you can like pay back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some questions. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> Oh, so I want one note too. As I was thinking about like how I want this podcast to be, okay, it is by NAP.、Uh, you know, NAP Pride is a program by NAP, and NAP is National Association of Asian American Professionals. And、uh, you know, when I do business for NAP Kansas City, I always try to make sure that I represent the organization well as a professional, a group for professionals. And as I was thinking about this podcast, so I want to turn that, crank that down. This is a little bit more like a a a, a nap happy hour, right?、Uh, right. That I want to not make it too stuffy. You know, I want it to be a little bit more casual, a little bit more conversational, so that we can actually get there. Yeah, and it's、uh, a little more real. Yeah, you know. So、uh, we so- we don't have to hide behind the name tag. Yes, you know. yes, we definitely don't want to. So I'm a little crazy. I'm going to warn you right now, <laughs>、yeah. um, and、uh, I. And that's I, good because I'm not. Oh, you are. You are. I think. I think you're more fun than you think. We balance. I, we do balance really、yeah. well.、Uh, okay, so I think that's that is it for for this particular episode.、Um, please come back next、uh, several weeks to listen to David's.、Um, Live story. I、oh、actually、my. have sound effects too. Live story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> I don't know if I want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you again for the the chat with me、uh, about Nat Pride, and、uh, and we will talk more about Nat Pride with the with the other. Yeah, they'll have more to add to the、well. story. As also Kim, who's who's、uh, involved later on, 
uh, that we want to get her on the show as well. Yeah, and it'd probably be good to get like Cindy and Michael, you know, some of the yeah. national board yes. to, to find out why they on really, their side. their side of it and yeah. why they threw their support behind it, Yes, you know, because we really appreciate that and want to acknowledge that too. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. All righty. Thank you. I invite you to come back, better yet, subscribe to the podcast so that you won't miss any future episodes. In the next several weeks, we'll be talking to David Moore, my co-host. He will actually sit down as a guest and I'll talk to him about, you know, who he is, his childhood, how he grew up, where he grew up, and also his coming out process and the challenges that he faced. You want to come back and listen to all that. And there were a lot of very inspirational stuff that even as a friend of his, didn't quite know until I sat down and talked to him. So you don't want to miss that. And we want to encourage you to get in touch with us. The best way to do that is go to pride.nap.org. That is n-triple-a-p.org. And all the information will be there. In fact, you can just look at your device. It's in our show notes as well, including a voice comment line as well. You can call us at 4197 pride Five four one nine seven Pride five, or simply drop us an email Pride Talk at nap dot org. Once again, n triple a p dot org. Until next week, remember this: representation matters. So be seen, be heard, be loud, and be proud. Goodbye.